Assalamu alaikum to greet me. It is an Islamic way of greeting and it means peace be upon you. As you know, Zoe, peace is a very, very important issue for everybody. Hey everybody, my name is Zoe Mika from the United States. Whenever I watch the news these days, I get shocked by the sad news coming from the Middle East. War and blood shedding everywhere. So we decided, me and my friend Shima Ali, who is originally from that part of the world, to send those peaceful messages and say enough, please stop. Thank you, Zoe. My name is Shima Ali. I'm from Sudan. Me too, Zoe. News coming from the Middle East makes me mad and keeps me asking myself why, 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 but no answer. I hope the whole world will be like us at the Bible school, at the school, although we present people from multicultural societies, but as members of the Bible school community, we respect all people, we respect all property, we walk safely, we talk quietly, we never touch her, and as a person, we always keep our school a safe and safe place so we can learn and succeed. Thank you, Shima. To my understanding, peace is the absence of conflicts, violence, and destruction. Peace is the presence of caring, love, kindness, harmony, collaboration, unity, and compassion. We all want to live peacefully. Well said, Zoe. To me, peace is just a matter of walking in your neighbor's shoes and letting your neighbor walk in yours. Peace will only be experienced when masses of people across the globe speak out, live it, raise it. I believe that people around the world need to know how Middle East families, especially children, suffer due to the lack of peace. Yes, Shima. The only way to consider a real future is through peace. Only when people relate to each other through respect and admiration will we know peace. Peace can be achieved, but only through dialogue. When we talk to each other face to face, we realize how much we have in common. Let us talk and we will find that wonderful peace. Good job, Zoe. Peace, a simple word with a great meaning. Inside this word, we have friendship, collaboration, love, union. Let's, let us try to follow this word in every moment of our life. I hope the whole world will be in peace. Without, without war, birds will be singing. Praying, working, donating, and always, always hoping for peace in a region I love and respect. Please don't give up. We are one humanity upon this planet and sharing an unconditional love and peace unites us all. Yes, so we tolerance and respect our human values and peace is a human right. There is no more important nor more attainable issue than that of peace. Only through peace we can work together to overcome all other challenges. Thank you, Shima. I hope you agree with me. Peacemaking is too important to be left to politicians alone. It needs the active, sustained involvement of all sectors of society, civil society, business, young people, women's groups, supported by all international friends of peace and justice. Yes, Zoe, I cannot agree more. I think the cycle of violence can only be nicely traded by the wisdom, forgiveness, and strong determination. We offer our support to anyone who can overcome all their personal hurts and care for other human beings as themselves. Me too, Shima. I support all those working tirelessly for a peaceful coexistence. I want this to extend good wishes for peace to people everywhere and urge governments to start fighting poverty, fighting diseases, and fighting ignorance instead of fighting their own people. It is important to listen to the concerns and aspirations of a broad range of people. We need to respect our differences and celebrate our similarities. We are all connected to each other and share this planet. Until the children of the Middle East sleep soundly in their beds, neither will children around the world. Please hold peace in your mind, peace in your heart, and peace in your actions. Let your life be remembered for spreading peace and having a wide open heart. Please join us in this historic opportunity for peace.